welcome back to my channel okay you guys so today is going to be a what i eat in a week video it's been forever and a day since i did one of these videos so i definitely wanted to bring one to the channel just to give you guys some ideas on what you can eat within a 1500 calorie diet or within low carb because i do believe i have some low carb meals in this what i eat in a week as well so if you want to see what i eat in a week please stay tuned Hey you guys, so today is Monday. I woke up saying, you know what? I need to get back in the gym. Um, last week, Auntie Flo was here, so I was just lethargic. I didn't have any energy, so yeah. I was like, okay, back to the gym. So I just did 30 minutes today, which I'm cool with. I worked up a good sweat, so yeah. Okay, so now I'm back home, and this will be my first meal. This is a BLT on low carb bread. And oh my gosh, you guys, you should know already that I'm fully addicted to BLTs. Like why nobody ever told me about BLTs growing up? I don't, I don't know. Maybe they told me I just didn't like it. Cause you know, when you're a kid, you don't like vegetables. You're like tomato, lettuce, ew. <laughs> but this is like so good. Oh my gosh. So I have three slices of uh, thick sliced bacon. I have some low carb bread, a slice of cheese, and then our lettuce and tomato. And then these chips are pretty low. I mean, for the amount that you get, they kind of remind you of Funyuns, but they're lighter, um, but they have that onion taste, which I absolutely love. I love onion chips. I love French onion um, sun chips. I love like Funyuns type of flavor. And this is, this reminds you of Funyuns. This is like a generic Dollar Tree brand, but it actually tastes really good. And it's a little bit lighter and softer than Funyuns are. These are the chips. They're called onions <laughs> and they are... 120 calories for 27 pieces and if you eat chips you know that normally the serving size is either like 12 chips or 15 chips so to be able to get almost double that for 120 calories and they actually taste good that is a win and then as far as something to drink i'll probably just pair it with i have some of that dollar tree juice that's like five calories so i'll probably have it with that but yes you guys this is my first meal Okay, you guys, so the time now is about 4.25 and I just started feeling a little bit hungry. So I decided to make me a smoothie. And the great thing about this is that it's pretty low in calories. Everything is pretty low in calories. For one cup of this pineapple, strawberry, peaches, and mango melody is 70 calories. So I used one cup of this and then I used a half a cup of banana which was, I believe, 140 calories for one cup. So I used a half a cup, that was 70 calories. Then I used a cup of vanilla almond milk, that was 80 calories. And then the skinny simple syrup is zero everything. And that's just to give it a little extra sweetness. I like stuff sweet, so I added that in there, but that's always optional. And yeah, this serving is 220 calories and this is what i'll be having for my snack before we get into our dinner this video is sponsored by skillshare if this is your first time hearing of them skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills 
If you're interested in learning a new skill, they have classes from bettering your Instagram to leadership and management. I personally wanted to join Skillshare because I wanted to invest in myself and my personal growth and learn new things that will make me better personally and professionally. And I love the fact that I can find both types of classes on Skillshare. One class that I've taken and recommend is Creative Cooking, Simple Sauces to Elevate Every Meal by singer and chef Khalees. I know that a good sauce can make all the difference in a dish, taking it from dry to full of flavor. I'm always one of those people at the restaurant like, can I get an extra side of sauce? So believe me, sauce is important to me. And when I saw that she shows how to make homemade jerk sauce too, I knew that I wanted to take this class and see what my girl Khalees is talking about. One key tip that I took away from this cooking class was that every good sauce has a flavor base. A lot of sauces start off with onion as a base. On top of your flavor base, a good sauce requires fat, acid, and seasoning. So I definitely recommend for you to check out Skillshare. I've learned so much from their classes. It's super affordable and fun. I will be sure to leave the link in the description box below for you guys. Also, the first thousand people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can explore your creativity and learn more about the topics that interest you. Special thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, guys. So now it is time for dinner. And y'all, I'm starting on dinner a little later than I wanted to because I just had a whole bunch of stuff to do and then I had to clean. So yeah, so I'm just now having dinner or just now starting to cook dinner and hopefully this won't take too long. But I want to show you guys this tasty dinner kit. Um, I saw this like in the same section where you would see like maybe the Velveeta kits and Hamburger Helper and stuff like that. But the Tasty just kind of caught my eye. This is the Creamy Salsa Verde Chicken Dinner Kit and it is 310 calories per one and one third cups prepared. Okay, so it's quite a bit. So I definitely want to check this out and show you guys on the channel. You know just in case you might be interested or saw it in your grocery store so the only thing that you need to add is one pound of chicken and a bell pepper a red bell pepper so i have my one pound of chicken here they recommend chicken breast but i just went ahead and did some boneless chicken thighs because normally they're just more juicy and not as dry i have my medium bell pepper sliced already and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and whip this up and this will be my dinner y'all just want to say real quick i think i prematurely seasoned my chicken i hope it won't be too much seasoning because this came with its own seasoning i don't know if it's salty or if it's like more herby i don't know but girl i hope i didn't mess it up mm, hopefully this ain't salty smell good though so it says when the rice is halfway cooked through then start on the chicken but for right now we just gonna coat this all right it's a little more left in there but i'm gonna just leave it at that because i already added my seasoning and then we started on the rice So this is our finished dinner and I must say it is looking quite delish, okay? It smells really good, so let's go ahead and give it a taste test. Yes, I got some sauce on there, some rice, pepper, mmm, bomb, 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 mmm, and that sauce kicks it off and gives it like a little kick of spicy and I'm not a huge spicy person but i can do a little kick and this has like a little kick very delicious i definitely recommend to try it out i think the kit was only like 3.99 or something like that so definitely worth it if you got some chicken in your freezer go pick you up a bell pepper a red pepper and call it a day okay super super good now the only thing i can say is that i wasn't sure 
exactly how to measure everything because it does say one and one third cups prepared but i'm like it doesn't say to mix everything together it says to have your rice and then it says top your rice with your chicken and peppers so it's not like a mixed you know dish that's like already mixed together with the rice the chicken and the peppers and then you just measure out a cup and the third i was like okay so do i do a cup and a third of rice and then a cup and a third of chicken or do i split that down the middle like i don't know what to do so um, what i did is i just did one cup of rice and one cup of the chicken mixture and i'm just gonna work it out in my fitness pal to the best of my knowledge that's the only thing i can say about it but other than that it's absolutely delicious so yes you guys this is my dinner okay you guys and i'm gonna be ending my night with a ice cream cone this is a cookies and cream ice cream cone the ice cream that i chose is 220 calories per two-thirds cup so i know that a scoop is a half a cup so i did like a little bit more than one scoop and yeah that's what i have and then the actual cone is only 20 calories so i'm gonna count this as 240 calories and this will end my night bomb dinner was bomb you guys i'm gonna have that for dinner tomorrow too probably or maybe for lunch i'm not sure but it was good definitely check it out hey y'all okay so today has been a really really bad day with like documenting what i ate because i was out most of the day and my phone was dead <laughs> So I couldn't even like record on my cell phone. So I tried to do a little bit on base phone just to try to get something for you guys. But we were pretty much out all day today. So about 2.30, I was gonna try to wait to eat until I got home, but it was like 2.30 and I was like starving. So I ended up having a Subway sandwich, which I haven't had in forever, forever. I haven't had a Subway sandwich probably in years and he wanted a Subway sandwich, so I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get one, too. It was the most delicious thing <laughs> I probably ever tasted. Oh, my gosh, it was so good. So, I got that with some um, Sun Chips or whatever, and that is pretty much all I had today, with the exception of, like, maybe, like, three Starbursts or something like that. But that's all I had as far as my food intake today has just been so busy it's almost eight o'clock and i don't really have time to cook something new so i'm just gonna have what i had last night which was absolutely delicious anyway so i'm just gonna go ahead and warm this up i had it in my meal prep containers and yeah this will be my dinner and then i will come back if i decide to have a dessert Hey you guys, so I decided that I did want some kind of sweet something. So I'm having the ice cream that I had last night. This is one full scoop and kind of like a half a scoop. It's one third cup. No, no, not one third cup. Girl, I forgot, but <laughs> this is basically a serving size for this ice cream and it's 220 calories. So I am allotted 1,592 calories, so closer to six 1500 calories instead of 1500 but i just say 15 because you know it's 1592 but anyway it's closer to 1600 but i had 1776 today so i did go 100 and something calories over but it still says i have some calories remaining because i did work out today so i never really tried to use um all of my exercise calories just because i feel like you know my fitness pal just gives you way too many exercise calories and if you use all of them i just don't feel like you would lose the weight that you want in the time frame you know that you're trying or whatever so i do dip into it some if i worked out but i don't try to use all of it but yes you guys this is how i'm ending my night
Good morning, everyone. So this is what I will be having for breakfast. Girl, I had already planned this in my mind last night, okay? I was like, oh, I just have a taste for a breakfast burrito. So I plugged everything in my app and it was like 600 and something calories. I'll either, you know, put it on the screen here or whatever to let you know what the totals were or because I don't have my phone with me right now. But all of this together, the burrito plus the coffee drink was I believe 600 and something calories. And as you guys seen, I put two slices of bacon, two eggs, a slice of cheese, and a hash brown. So I wanted to make it nice and hearty, okay? And yeah, I cannot wait to, to tear this down. I'll put a little drizzle of the sugar-free syrup just to give it some sweetness, you know, the whole breakfast type of vibe. And yeah, that's that, okay? And then this drink, I tried it, um, they ate, drank one of mine. So, well, it's not for him, it's for me, but he opened one yesterday. So I took a sip of it and it actually is really, really good. I think it's about 160 or 170 calories and it's an iced coffee drink from Atkins. They have a vanilla latte, they have mocha. Okay, so this is it. It's called the Cafe Caramel is the one that I got. And um, it is three net carbs, one gram of sugar, and it's five fiber in it. And it's 160 calories for one shake. And like I said, it tastes pretty dang on good to me. So again, I'm pairing my burrito with my iced coffee and that will be my breakfast. Okay, you guys, so I just finished my dinner and it was absolutely delicious. And it was curry chicken and then I had a few spinners, like um, little small skinny dumplings with it and it was good. So I'm just gonna have to figure out how, you know, many calories that was in my fitness pal. But I don't suspect that it was over like 500 or 600 calories and I have 900 calories left because I didn't have any snacks. Once I had the breakfast burrito, I just, worked 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 I had a really really busy day today so I didn't eat anything but the breakfast burrito and then what they made so now I'm gonna try this viral I think it was a TikTok video I ended up seeing it on Pinterest but it was viral on TikTok first and what you're gonna need is some sugar-free Cool Whip this is three carbs per serving and it's 20 calories per serving and then you're gonna need some instant pudding, um, your flavor of choice on the video. She did use chocolate and I had some chocolate in my pantry, so that's what I'll be using. And then you're gonna need some sugar-free chocolate chips and these are Lily's Milk Chocolate Sugar-Free Chips. And all of this is low carb as well and you do it all inside of here. So I'm just gonna try it out. <laughs> Um, it looks so fast and easy, so I hope that it actually tastes good. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing, but I just want to try it out and see if it actually did taste good. The only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our chocolate instant pudding inside of the Cool Whip. And this is 30 calories per serving and seven, no, six net carbs per serving. And it is four servings in the container. Let's see, can I mix this up? Now this was frozen. I got powder flying everywhere. It's kind of messy. I feel like I already want to taste it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like so far. So it's like a light chocolate cover. She put the whole pack in there, so I'm gonna add a little at a time because powder is going everywhere. You know what? I'm gonna leave it here because I feel like that's chocolatey enough and I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> and then you just pop it with the chocolate chips. Mix those in there. So that's about 15 probably. Now I'm just gonna top it with the rest. It's about 30. 30 chips is about one serving. Oh, that's a mess, but this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mmm, 
Y'all, this is good. It's almost like a, a thick mousse, but it's a little creamier than a mousse. And actually without the chocolate chips, it's even good without it. You don't even need the chocolate chips. Super bomb and super quick. I can see why this went viral. So I'm probably not gonna eat all of this. I'm gonna just take some spoonfuls out of it. The good thing is you make it in the container and then I can just put my lid right back on it and then use the rest of it for dessert tomorrow. So yes, you guys, I just want to share this with you. Go ahead and give it a try. And that's how I'll be finishing today. Okay, you guys, so today has been quite a day, okay? We went to go do some errands and didn't really get back to the house until close to three o'clock. So while we were out, we ended up splitting a small like yogurt land, like ice cream, you know, the frozen yogurt or whatever. I haven't had that in so many years. It was delicious, okay, and it was, 35 calories per ounce so it was a great alternative to ice cream and it worked out to be about i think i think we had some oreo topping on it so i think it worked out to be about 200 calories for what i had so that's all i had today the time now is 4 41 i really should be preparing dinner but i am completely starving and i already had this in my mind to make for when I finish fasting at 12. So I don't know if I'm still gonna make dinner, but I did buy what I want to make for dinner. It just depends on how hungry I am. If not, I'm gonna make it for dinner tomorrow. But um, as you guys can see, I made a steak and egg burrito. It has one slice of cheese in it. And then I have about maybe close to a cup of cherries y'all i saw some cherries in the grocery store i had to pick them up because oh, i love cherries so much and i think one cup serving is about 70 to 90 calories so that's perfect and then the steak you make that steak in five minutes what i showed you was two servings and um, the other serving i made a sandwich for bay and then this is for me um and then for one of those steaks um you make them in five minutes I just add some grilled onions. It's only 210 calories for that steak. And it gives you quite a bit of, um, of meat, especially if you kind of mix it with some onions to bulk it up. So anyway, I'm talking a lot and I'm hungry. <laughs> so yes, you guys, this is my steak and egg burrito. And again, I had it with my carb counter, um, keto friendly tortilla. And then I have about a cup of cherries. So yes, you guys, this is my first meal. Okay, loves. So I did end up getting hungry. It is kind of like a late dinner. It is 8.07, but I whip this up super, super quick. This is egg roll in a bowl. And when I tell you that it is absolutely delicious, it is delicious. So good, it's low carb and it's just good to eat even if you're not on low carb like it's just so good if you don't know how to make this i did make this on another video when i say that i just did this in probably less than 15 minutes like it is a super quick meal if you're like in a rush like how i was i didn't want to do something really big and it's eight o'clock already so this worked out perfectly and yeah this is about a cup and a half the only thing is i don't really know how to put it in my fitness pal but i would say that it's relatively low i only used one um, tablespoon of some sesame seed oil and the whole thing and the rest is just the ground pork the cabbage and a few other like seasonings and stuff so relatively low in calories and then also in carbs so yes, you guys, this is what I will be having for my dinner.
Okay guys, so the time now is about seven o'clock and did I eat something? Yes, okay, so Bay he went and got some Popeyes and I ended up eating a half of a wing and a biscuit. And girl, I regret eating that biscuit because the biscuit was 200 and like 10 calories or something like that. So anyway, today is Friday. Well, I told myself that basically I would have my, I don't know, just more lenient meals on the weekend. So it was supposed to start tomorrow, but kind of started today. I have like 500 and something calories left, but I really don't feel like cooking. So I'm going to go to Jack in the Box and just make some alter, alter, I don't want to say altercation, <laughs> make some alteration <laughs> to the meal and just make it lower calories. I probably still will go over today, but I'm just going to try to do my best with what I want right now. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me for my last meal. Um, can I get a number 11? Sorry, a number 11? A number 11? 11? Yeah. Can, would you like in a combo? Um, can I get um, size small and small fries? Yes. Okay, and what do you drink? Um, a diet mellow yellow. Sorry? A diet mellow yellow. Did you hear me? Sorry? A diet yellow mellow. A diet yellow, uh, yellow mellow? Yes. Sorry. Okay. And no bun? Sorry? No bun. Well done? No bun on the burger. No bun. Okay. Anything else? That's it. That's it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Your, your total is going to be 9.69 in the second. No, not well done. The, the It says well done on it. I want no bun. Oh, no bun. Okay. Yes. Y'all, that was so crazy. Like, I never. And then, right when I'm doing it on camera, it's like a hot mess. Who wants a well done chicken sandwich? Please raise your hand. <laughs> crazy. Okay, you guys. So, this is what I'll be having for dinner. You guys heard that in the drive through. It was a hot mess. I'm over here like why would i want a well done uh, i don't know <laughs> but anyway um so i got a homestyle ranch chicken club sandwich that's my favorite sandwich from jack in the box but i just decided to skip out on the bun i got a small french fry here and they asked me if i just wanted lettuce wrap or in a bowl and i told them lettuce wrap and they still put it in a bowl but this is pretty much what it's looking like it's a crispy filet with um tomato cheese and some bacon and then topped with lettuce and then for my drink i got a diet mellow yellow which i pretty much like i like it over like diet pepsi or something like that but yes you guys this is my dinner so yes you guys that concludes my video i hope that you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed filming it for you if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up make sure you guys check out skillshare in the description box below and until my next video have a blessed day have a blessed week and i'll see you in my next one bye